Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope everybody is doing well. Well folks, we're cooking, it's supper time. And what I'm cooking, like I said folks, I don't stray too far from the yard of food and everybody will agree with me. So uh, my friend brought me some, fish, you know I love fish yet, some group of some um, kingfish. And these are fish that, you know, we know is good, yeah. And we just decide we're gonna do some just curry down some with in some coconut milk. I saw um why well, saw I do it the other day. Oh, big up yourself, daddy's kitchen. You know, and after I saw I watched that um it's just when I see somebody do something and I feel like eating it, or we're sitting here watching daddy's kitchen. Um he's in Brampton, folks. That's a good um good YouTube channel, Daddy's um Daddy's um kitchen. And we just decide to, um, you know what, we have the fish so we just say, you know what, we'll just curry down someone who want white rice and green banana. So we're going totally yardy style. So folks, you know the drill already. You get your fish and you wash it up good, you lime and your lemon. And um, we season it up just like, it's the same procedure as if you're going to do your curry chicken. So we're just going to drop it in the pot right now. Um, we're going to put it, um, use some coconut oil. Oh, oh. Not a lot. I have to open another bottle. Okay, we're going straight, straight, straight up coconut. Coconut oil. And coconut milk. And it's the real thing. My friend did it at home and brought it today. I don't have the trash here to show you folks, but you know I don't lie. Straight up coconut milk we're using. Let me just get another bottle of my, um, I told you I don't support... I don't do Maggie, but I support the folks I had um, with the coconut oil. So this is Grace Coconut Oil, one of the best ones on the market. I'm just opening this one. I know it comes with well secured, so we have to get off this stuff of ice. So give me a minute, I turn on the heat. So the rice is steamed already. We're using white rice and the banana. We did some banana, what we, banana and a piece of sweet potato. And I think a piece of yam is there also. So we're just going. So folks, with the same procedure, we're going to burn our curry. This coconut oil is so good for your skin, folks. Don't let any of it waste. Put it on your skin. Rub down your hand, your face. It makes your skin so soft. Okay, so... And see, you know, folks, we don't, I don't stray far from what? Better pack. Because to me, that's the only curry I use. Um, I don't know who wanna say that I'm biased, but folks, um, better pack, I've been using it for years, and I don't see anything that can um, better than better pack, you know? So, anyway, I'm not trying to um, think anybody, but you know what? You have to support the yard, you know? So, better pack curry I use now. So, right now, I have some ginger and garlic here and like I said when you're using your garlic always cut it and leave it four or five minutes so you get the allicin activated and work that's the um, antibiotic in the, right there so I'm gonna put in some curry in it and you know I don't burn my curry to death just you know get the curry just cook your curry and I'm gonna use about because I put a little turmeric and stuff um, on the fish um, so when you see that the fish frogs, when I see that my fish, I use um, all my herbs and spice and everything. And um, vinegar, wash it down with vinegar and lime and a little salt in the water and wash it down. And I seen up with my oregano, basil, rosemary, scallion, onion, thyme, all spice, a few leaves of um, bay leaf, wrap in. And um, some, you know, I use my Goyo seasoning. And um, so everything is just gonna go in folks um, right now, okay? And um, it's a, a, a variation of fish head. We even have that fish head here too, right? Yeah, we have grouper, we have that fish, we have king fish, you name it, and we have it right here. So everything is just gonna go in the seasoning all. And make all of it gonna hold in the spot, guys. Um, Maybe I should use a bigger pot. We'll see. And fish don't take a long time for the cook, okay? 
we have some porridge to say here too, you know, folks. I hope it all holds up. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I have to toss it into a bigger pot. Wanna get all that juice in it. I will just leave some, folks. Um, if you can't hold it, can't hold it. Just leave whatever leave. Turn you get something else another time. Let me just turn this one up back. Yeah, and it's the same procedure I say, folks. I'm in my hole as if we were doing um because it's shrink after they go down, folks. Um it's all fish head, it's all bone. And that's why it's gonna taste so good, folks. Anything bone tastes good. And in a, you know, it doesn't take a long time to cook, you know, that's the thing about it. So this was seasoned and I leave it for about two hours or so to marinate. Um, you know, guys, I, I think this thing has to be turned off into a bigger pot because we're still going to have to put the coconut milk in, in it. Um, we want to get it done and get it done good. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I think this is, um, we have to see. Because even though it's fish, we want to make sure um, it cooks. So we're going to cover it down now. And when it's almost ready, we'll add the coconut milk to it. And like I said, folks, everything is in this seasoning right now. Except the kitchen set. I think it is okay. I'm just going to put a... So we're just going to let it cook down. Simmer down, as they say. Let this simmer down a bit. Uh, we're not gonna have no Maggie chicken would line up like that in it, folks. I like to tease Maggie, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. If, if it's not Maggie, who are we gonna tease? We have to tease somebody. No Maggie um chicken noodle. Just the coconut milk and with seasoning and all of that. And the coconut milk will be going in in a few minutes once the fish is on. Yeah. The rice and the banana pot is done already. We did that at the time. Everybody knows to cook on. Rice and boiled banana. And a piece of sweet potato, I think. But I did a juicer. I saw a potato juice, sweet potato juice. So piece of potato left, so we just throw it in also. Yeah. And folks, you guys should try that sweet potato juice. It's very good for you. Especially if you're diabetic. The orange sweet potato. I know that's the trouble one. I never used to like it, period, folks. But when I start reading up and see all the benefits that's in it, you know, all sweet potato are good. But this one is totally, totally good for you, especially if you're diabetic. And you know what? That's what I try to keep on um, close to our um, nutritional stuff. We have about a little coconut. So this is the um, banana still on. I like to keep the banana on a low heat. Keep it um, soft and moist. So that's going there, folks. So folks, please um, share up the videos. Like and subscribe to the channel. It's a good thing we're doing here, folks. You know, I'm mixing it up. Health wise and some because king you know in the fish head folks the fish head tastes nicer than the fish anything that have totally bone that's where all the flavor is yeah and we have what the yellow grouper we have kingfish head and even some what um carrot head we just put uh, all the head together and um you know and these are good fish clean fish nothing from them you know where store <laughs> Not knocking anybody, but this is it, folks. Uh, oh, I gotta clean up my machine. So, folks, um, we're just gonna let this simmer down for a bit, and yeah, you see, it's just like we're doing um curry chicken, you know. Yeah, we're not gonna put any okra or anything like that in it. This is curry. It's only that this curry um fish head. And once it thing there a bit, then we had um we'll add the coconut milk, and after that, you know, it's game over. And a little piece of my homemade butter. And I, I seen up with um, 
my jerk seasoning so i'm just gonna um, put a green pepper just for flavoring on top of it because um it's seasoned up with um chili pepper my jerk seasoning um it's good and in my jerk um sauce every pepper you name it every pepper of every i have guyanese riri pepper in there i have chili pepper i have cayenne pepper i have my scotch bonnet um I'll, when i make my jerk seasoning folks um because you should put all those peppers together and it's a nice flavor. Not just a scotch bonnet. So, that jerk season alone um, is having so much flavor right now. And when you're doing fish, I always use a green, green pepper because the green pepper is like flavor. And seasoning peppers are also good. That's the one that um, doesn't have um, no pepper but it's a seasoning pepper that's mostly a lot of um i forgot the name of it, of it but it's a, a non odd seasoning pepper and it's have a lot of flavor in it i use it a lot can't remember the name right now and i also use um shadow benny shadow benny tastes like um cilantro or like um one of those um thing there shadow benny have a lot of flavor like in scallion on my broad leaf time I, I my friend gave me two pieces i plant them and they're growing like crazy so i was able to get off to um leave off of them um hopefully they're outside now so hopefully i bring them in um where they because they're getting so much sun yeah right now also, folks, I put a couple of allspice um, berries in it, a bay leaf, and all of that. And a little bit of, um, what do you call the vinegar there? Not, not the, what, the white vinegar used to wash it down and all of that. Um, but I did put a, that flavor, a bit of that flavor vinegar in it. So it's bubbling up right now, folks. So I tell you, pretty soon, I can throw... See, um, yeah, it comes right up. What, that's the one thing when you have a pack pot, you just leave it on a low heat, medium heat, and um, it just bubble up all the way up. So um, that's it. And time and all of that. Uh, folks, just about everything is in that fish. And we seasoned up about two, a couple hours ago. Yeah, about three hours ago, it was there marinating. It, I, we let it soak for about half an hour or so and then it marinated for a few hours good I'm putting a little piece of butter in it right now the smell folks oh we do a little bit of so the neighbor can smell it <laughs> folks I'm bad uh, no, I'm just letting out a little of the um so sorry for the knife right it's all right folks just a few minutes and i'll shut it off Closer, if they can see all that bubbling going on there. The smell, folks. So, well, this is carrot fish head. And I have to thank that is we have to thank that is kitchen because we were watching this show and everybody said, But we have a lot of fish head. So, thank you, that is kitchen. So, we just decided to do some, and he did a great curry um, fish head. So, go over and check that out on that is charm channel over he's in Brompton I think and he's a real chef I gather that when COVID came along I think that's when he lost his job and that's when he started his channel and he's over 300,000 um, subscriber right now so he's doing good his daughter is the one behind the camera one of his daughters I think he has two daughters I'm not sure if he has a son but I know I've seen two daughters and beautiful girl she's she's the one that behind the camera most of the time yeah and this guy can cook. 
So folks, go check out that. You see, I always promoting people, folks, because that's how we gotta do it, you know? We can't be um, selfish. Anybody I use this stuff, or see up there, I, I pick them up and I supported them because folks, we need to stick together and support each other. That's the only way we're gonna make it. Yeah, and like I said, you know, it would be nice to get subscription, but I'm doing this partly for, you know, telling people what they can do to help themselves and on the healthy side. And cheap people who don't know how to cook, because there's a lot of people who don't know how to cook, you know. And if along the way you get monetized or got up there, fine, you know. But so when I use stuff on other people's channel, I go on channels that I like, I always um, pick them up. We got to cut out the bad mind, folks. Cut out the bad mind. Not everybody, but a lot of us, we just like for ourselves. We don't support each other. We support everybody else but ourselves, our own community. And then we say that, um, look how we are. All of us. Big up Jamaica, big up St. Thomas, big up Portland. Big up my my little park community in St. Thomas, Fort Moran, Harry Castle and Marat Bay, Trinity Vale. Those are my yard. Bat. I used to go to Bat Fountain a lot. Yalas. Go check out the Yalas spot. When you go to um tourists get all the the um when you guys go to Jamaica, get out of the um, all-inclusive and go see the island. It's beautiful. Lots of things to see. Lots of nature to stuff to see. Get out of the all-inclusive. And go spread a little of money out in the community so the folks will get some. Yeah. Don't follow that big head, crooked um, tourist minister, Ed Barclay or Barclay or whatever his name is. They are the one, the only one who's making any money. Folks, do you know that the folks who work in those hotels, they have to wear like a dog tag around their neck saying, they don't need no tips, we're doing just fine. Folks, it's so humiliating. In Canada here, you go to a hotel, you go to any restaurant, you, get your tea, you can get your tip. They wear a dog tag around their neck saying that they're, they don't need any tip, they're okay. So, <laughs> you know, folks, <laughs> It's sad, it's sad, but oh my God, my people, my people, come on, come on, man. People are on a dog tag, because that's what I call it, around their neck, saying that don't give them any tips. And this one of the ladies said, why well, you don't put, I give it to her. She said, no, there's cameras everywhere in the hotel. Cameras everywhere. You know? They, these people are making nine thousand dollars. I don't know if it's a week or what. And I'm sure they would get the, the tips that they would get because of the, all the diaspora, include myself, when I go to Jamaica, you want to support your people. And these people are not allowed to take tip. But I'm sure Ed Bartlett taking a lot of tip and nothing tip for himself because the only people who benefited from that hotel industry in Jamaica is those politicians and, as they say, the foreign investors. The people are slave. They are slave. They need to get up and stop being afraid and speak up for the right and fight. Now I'm gonna throw in the coconut milk, folks. Talking about they're afraid. Afraid of what? Bunch of crooks, a bunch of damn crooks. That's what they all are. You guys should watch um, Sri Lanka. Watch the people in Sri Lanka. I'm so proud of those people. The government bankrupt the company, uh, the country, and that's what gonna happen to Jamaica and a lot of places. And then the people, even folks, this one. I go on YouTube and watch this guy in Lebanon. The guy went to his bank to get his own money and they refused to get it, give him his money. I'm not saying anybody should do this, but you know what the guy did? He came back and he hold, I think the bank people hostage until they give him his money. This is in the Middle East, people. This is in the Middle East. So this stuff was going on. 
It's not just in Jamaica, they, you know, you're being thing they're all over the world. The guy went and come back and hold the whole bank hostage. Mind you, the guy had his money in the bank, he went to get it out. And there they take them, folks. <laughs> you guys go watch that video. Yeah. Couldn't get his own money, so he said, hell, all right. And he, he, you know, which is not right what he did, but when people are pushed, you know, you know, they, they, they do what they have to do. So all you don't you just sit down and be free, be free. Well, you're going to wake up one day. And you think what little you have, you have anything? When you wake up one day, you're not going to have anything in the water. They're dumping all the, um, and I'm, you know, they, um, this river the other day, flat bridge there, and they've been doing it for a while. Instead of paying the money to get rid of the chemical, they dump it right in the river, all the fish and everything. And that river now, all of that stuff is in the bottom because, you know, nobody don't know how to clean that up. Period. And pretty soon the people go back and fish again, and then what? Con contaminated fish. Cancer. Cancer. And this is what's going on. So people, like, you know, me not even tell us I wake up because, you know, I wake up and I wake up, I'm just putting it out there. You know? River, they just dump it and this is what these companies go to these countries places and do they make the money and when they finish the whole country is polluted yeah so i'm just putting out there folks uh you have the kids the future and you know <laughs> you got you got to do something you ain't benefit from nothing what's going on here you know not, you can't even get a little tip they have you like a freaking dog walking around that hotel that um you are okay you don't need no tip while they get the lump sum they don't even it's not even tip to you where they get yeah big up fire and jammy hood folks go support fire and jammy hood giving sixty thousand by the end of the week or before folks come on it's not gonna cost you not just push this the red button and give them sixty thousand you want you know it will nice to get more than that but right now he's aiming for 60,000 at 50, I think it's at 58 point something when I saw it last, um, you know, I think yesterday. So folks, go there and support, also support Richard too, um, Richard Bond Films, the guy, they're partner, they're together. Even though they might have different um, thing, but, you know, those two guys are unite. Oh, it's going over now, folks. I, I gotta, look at that, folks. Look at all that bubbling. It smells, and let me taste, because this don't need a thing, folks. This don't need a thing. See, it, it, it all, the fish all. I hope when I'm ready to get them out, you know, they'll come out. So I just put a pepper on top. So I'm gonna open it for now and let it, um, because fish is a thing that is very easy to cook, folks. I should use a bigger pot. Well, it's all bone here, folks, anyway. it's all fish is all bone so it's simmering down right now folks so it no want a thing mm. that is so good folks i'm gonna move it over to the stove that is almost done because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna do a backsplash on my wall and I don't want it to get messed up too much and I have to go paint it again before I do it. That's the thing with cooking in a close proximity. So folks I have it on this side. So I'm gonna bring the camera over here. So it'll just simmer down right now folks. So yeah. You have a good view there. Yeah, I took it from the because I don't want the wall to get splattered up, you know. Like I said. You see, these are so soft. Mm. But folks, don't worry. We don't have no highs here. All the eyes are gone. The worst thing to look at your fish is see those highs. Just like when you go, go to the soup, folks. No eyes. We take care of all of that. These are properly clean and, you know. Wow. So, what? Three, four. You can take a doggy bag. <laughs> you can take a doggy bag when you're going. And, folks, I didn't put no okra, no nothing in it. That's straight up 
curry fish. The coconut milk give it everything, folks. You don't need nothing in it. Just straight up coconut milk and coconut oil. And this would be nice with banana and dumpling and a piece of yellow or whatever. But we have banana here, folks. Bananas have been kept warm and you have a piece of yam there too and rice whoever some people want it whatever you go for it the rice is done and we're going straight up white rice and I'm gonna cover it and let it give it about a couple more minutes and we know it's done and then as they say folks the boat has landed this is how we like straight 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 to the yard the food folks don't we don't stray too far because that's where we get all the all the good stuff all the yam and the banana and our sweet potato yeah cocoa dashin all of that is is ground food good for you i don't want the fish to get mashed too much though folks So let me see. Wow. Folks, look at that. Look at that. Look at the fishes. Look at that. Mmm. The coconut, the coconut milk um, was one of the best invention, folks. And coconut oil. Anything you do on coconut milk is in it, folks. It's got to be done. But it's done. It's done. And look like one of my pear right to folks. So, wow. Yeah, we have a ripe pear here. We put them out and one by one. If every day one ripe, that's good. Because this is another thing, folks, that is so good for you. Avocado. And this one, like, is another good one. Hopefully. So folks, we're gonna plate up this stuff right now. Now we're not playing because last time I eat was yesterday. So I just try to eat one meal for the day. Unlike some of us here. Not eat but meam. <laughs> they can't do it folks, they can't do it. They can't take the one meal for the day. So folks, we're gonna plate this up, and like I said, it's nothing fancy. So just plate this for you guys to see. Let me get the rice. Go with the white rice, just like when you're doing curry chicken, you just go with the white rice. And I hope I get a piece of fish out that don't have, don't get mashed up. And we're not gonna have all of this. No cucumbers or anything like that. Um, just the avocado. Gonna stick a banana in. And folks, when you don't like this, you have to take it off the fire soon because use electric stove. So we have a piece of um, sweet potato. We have banana and we have white yam. I think this the white yam is from Costa Rica. So we have banana from Jamaica. I think the sweet potato is um I don't remember where it comes from, tell the truth. So I have a piece of yam too. And that is from Costa Rica. White yam. They have very good white yam. So right now folks have to find a nice piece of fish. So what I'm gonna do after lift out a few pieces. And just get out yeah we don't want to just put the head part here you know they have a lot of meat and then we want to get a nice two nice piece of fish to um let me see this piece this case is not bad but i didn't want it to be broken okay i have to take it off to eat and all of the together piece I put in the bottom. I know I can't get to them. Let's see. 
And that's a lot of good sauce there, folks. Especially from the coconut milk. Yeah, this is much better. Fish meat on it. That's what I'm trying to get. Mm. See, fish is such a delicate thing, folks. Such a delicate thing. And that's the part head right there. Here's a here's a nice good piece. Just put this. And take those pieces. Hmm. This is not a bad piece. So we'll put two pieces. Yeah, we we you know we're cooking it. I know some people here can go will will mm. wipe up all of this and make it a mess. Um I just put some some of that um, coconut milk on there. Folks, it tastes so good. I'll just put the green pepper up on top here, folks. I'll put about these pieces of fish in there. These will be gone by before, before the, the camera is turned off. It will be done. That's all. Yeah. That will be all gone, folks, before the camera is off. Everybody loves to be around here. And my friend, you're watching, I know you don't like fish yet, period. But there's some fleshy part in it. You know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are. You don't love she Don't like fish yet. Anyway. And as I say, folks, once everybody share up them food, all of that. Now. So right now, this is a, this is a curry fish head right here. I'm just gonna, all we're gonna do is just we um yeah just some avocado folks that's all we need we eat salad every day <laughs> we eat salad every day folks so it's just an avocado folks is um this is like um what do you call it right now the avocado is um omega-3 so it's all healthy stuff right here, folks. You know, and a little white rice not gonna kill you. Don't eat white rice every day, but I believe certain things you have to have your white rice with. Can't be barley <laughs> or bulga. Curry, anything curry, has to be there with your white rice, folks. So, folks, that's it right there. So it's steamed fish head. We have yellow grouper. We have kingfish. We have parrot head, and they're also yummy and we just wash it you just wash down your fish good first and season it up leave it like the season just like you do it with your curry chicken you do the same procedure with it okay and folks let me tell you you do that and it is so good so very good folks so folks um that is curry fish head with white rice banana and sweet potato and Costa Rican um white piece of Costa Rican white yam folks so uh, please like share and subscribe and folks go try this um and that is kitchen big up yourself because I didn't watch that video um you know we wouldn't think of Cause we have, you know, we have all this fish here and we sit down and watch that video. I think it was day before yesterday or yesterday, this latest video. So that is Kitchen Big Up Yourself. Fire Big Up Yourself. All of you guys, everybody, Marie, Melo, everybody Big Up Themselves. Have a good one and peace.